Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of How Would Sean Bean Have Died? And in this episode, we have Derek back with us. Hey, Derek. Hey, hey. Hi, Derek. Hey. <laughs> um, so you knocked it out of the park with uh, the other guys, so we figured, let's just bring you back. Let's just keep it going. Free labor. <laughs> I knew it. I I knew that's what this was. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this one we're going to hit Inception, and uh, so Derek and Carrie were not part of our Inception review that we did way back in March. Was actually our third episode we ever did. So why don't we just spend a couple minutes and just kind of just talk about your feelings and attitudes towards Inception? And um, so Carrie, why don't we start with you? Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, I I feel like I saw this. In, did I see this with you guys in movie theaters? I feel like I did, and we went like opening weekend or something, didn't we? Either that, or we were hanging out at the time. Man, I can't remember. Ten years ago, it's possible because we saw it twice opening weekend, so that it is possible. Out. Yeah, I yeah. I, I feel <laughs> pretty confident that we did. Yeah. Um, and I remember, because I'm kind of like Dana, like, I absolutely love, like, the Nolan Brothers, and, and I knew I loved this movie. If I had been on the other uh, cast, I probably, I think I would have given this, like, an 8.5. It is definitely, which for me is high praise, as you know, uh, that mm-hmm. is definitely on the high end for my scores. It is one of my favorites. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the fact that it's kind of a mind teaser, like you guys talked about before. Um but it brings together a whole lot of themes that are just enjoyable. And it was just a, like the cinematography was also gorgeous for this one. So I really enjoy this movie. Awesome. Yeah. I think uh, looking back at our rewatch ratings of inception, we came out with a nine. It's currently our highest movie that we've reviewed so far. Um, Dana and I both set a 10. So that's just lets you know where we're at. Um, but Derek, how about you? This is uh we talked to other guys for quite some time. Inception, we haven't really talked about. So where where's your attitudes about this movie? I I I would have to agree that it's super rewatchable. Just so you can uh, pick up something different every single time with it. Like oh, yeah. I think the first time I saw it, I saw it in theaters, and um and I thought, I don't know what the hell happened, and <laughs> what, like or, or what 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 did I what did I just watch and um then but i think i liked it i think i liked it a lot but i don't know what that what the hell happened so um but yeah then every time afterwards it's just it's a visually stunning movie it's a wild concept you know usually when a movie comes out that's so different you see a bunch of copycats come out afterwards and you know it was kind of like no nobody tried to mess with this one like everybody's just kind of like oh too too much um, yeah. you know, so I, I, it's just so original. The acting's great. I mean, really anything with Tom Hardy and it, it's going to be good. Um, so yeah, I overall just love the movie. I could, I could, every time I've watched it since it's been something different that I see or I'm like, Oh, okay. That now makes sense. Why this happens later. Um, cause yeah, it's all, it's a lot to take in. Yeah. And I think we, 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 uh, went through the whole review back in March. We talked about the the soundtrack of it just getting, kind of giving you chills still. And I still, when I hear it, just there's certain moments of that track where I, you know, I know, you know, kind of where it correlates to the movie. It just, you get chills. It just, it hits you. So it's across the board. I can't find many, many things I would say are flawed with this movie. It's just, it's, it is a blockbuster. It's one of a kind, still fun. Always will be fun. So let's kill Sean Bean, huh? <laughs> you know because um, he deserves it right you know right. <laughs> I, I really want him to have the most deaths in a in cinema but uh, he's got a long way to go <laughs> so let's let's help him get there uh i guess let's first uh let's talk about where we could possibly cast him would he take an existing role would he be a, a brand new role um where do you guys kind of kind of see him fitting in and, and Dana, how about we, uh, why don't we start with you? So me personally, I actually feel like he could be an existing character. Um, I, I mean, without going too far into my, my theory, um, good thing I told you this already. 
the the rival yes. energy corporation. I cannot think of his name today. Saito. Saito, yes. Okay, I've done this to you at least three times already. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I feel like he would actually could play the character Saito and completely just do wonderful with that part. So then it leaves up the question is, does he die? Because if he plays that part, <laughs> it's like in all the different like uh, – you know, iterations of a dream, yeah, maybe, but but does he? It's open to, to interpretation, like this movie is. So, <laughs> yeah, and I, I I think I was I was trying to think back to how many people literally actually lose their life in this movie, not in Dream World, but physically lose their life. And I think it it might be two, and it's just like two mm-hmm. guards from like the Cabal that are after um, Leo's character in mm-hmm. Moon. Mombasa or wherever they're chasing them down. Um, that's it. They get, they get shot, you know, by their own guys. Um, that's, that's really it. Not, I mean, mall obviously. Um, but, uh, there's not, a, not a lot of real world deaths. If you know what the real world is in this movie, for sure. If, if he, if he died though, like in all three levels of the dreams, like, does that count as three deaths? For him, could. for his grand could. tally. Yeah. Could. <laughs> Let's it just could keep it going. Be so. keep it. Yeah, I mean, let's let's just make it that way. It could be that yeah. way. <laughs> I mean, I, th- I think I I think if I remember right, Saito died like in a couple of them there. So if he John did. Bean had that part, that's that's multiple kills. So you oh, you yeah. went really well, dark there, Dana. Yeah, but I was just thinking, like, okay, if I could place him into this movie though, like him as an actor though, I feel like he would just play that part so convincingly as it is, and it's just kind of like you know. He he could definitely do that. And so at the end of the movie, though, I mean, you could really leave that up to you, what your interpretation of that end of the movie is. It's like, so did he make it or did he not? I don't know. <laughs> no, that's, that, that's just where I'm at, at least. <laughs> I buy it. All right. Um, Derek, do you have uh, any thoughts on it? Um, I think... I had two thoughts. I'll save one to until everybody goes because I'm afraid somebody might have it already and I don't want to steal it. But this one, I don't think you guys have. Um, so I for this one, I will roll with he's not a current cast member. He's in there and he's a case study. So like you got to imagine somebody has watched themselves die so many times in movies as themselves, you know, that's got to mess with your head. I've never died in a film, but I'm assuming it's pretty rough to watch over and over and over again. So it turns in and you know how like you something traumatic, you're probably going to dream about it. So he see, he continues to dream or when he goes to sleep, he dreams of his own death because he's watched it in real life so many times and you wake up when you die so he just becomes a total insomniac because all he dreams of is him dying, himself dying over and over again, and he can't sleep. So, you know, he could be like the case study as they're trying to explain how, you know, you wake up when you die in a dream. Let us tell you about Sean Bean and how this happened <laughs> for him. Um, you know, that that would be one if we, you know, created a role or character for go. him. So. That's a good idea. And then they could test that, uh, that uh, what is it, the serum that they use to try to get them to be able to sleep through the different levels of a dream. Like, they could mm-hmm. test that on him. Yeah, he could have been He'd in that, be like... perfect case study. Yeah, he could have been in, like, that underground <laughs> area with the serum people. And yeah. they're just like, this is the only way we can knock this poor bastard out. <laughs> when we give him the heaviest stuff we got, so... I buy it. Right? I, that, that definitely checks out. I, I think I could go with that one. I, I like that idea. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Now, now I'm anxious to hear part two, but uh, Carrie, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see where your head's at. So my train of thought was kind of like Dana's, except I could never take Ken Watanabe out of any movie ever, so he would not be I replacing know. him. But I was on the same line about the corporate espionage thing, because I feel like it's unrealistic in this scenario to think that only – his company is trying to take over Hillian Murphy's company, right? Ooh. So I was thinking there's probably others and there's probably like 
henchmen, like just kind of like Leo's team, right? That are all involved in this process. And I was thinking if they had run into each other in the first scenario and that had been like imprinted basically into their minds that, oh yeah, we're competing with this other team, even on that kind of in the real world level, uh, that would have been translated down to lower levels and possibly could have ended in a big old fashioned like shootout. So that was my thought. And he'd make a really good like henchman type of person to fight against. Like oh, that jo- like the Joseph Gordon Levitt scene. Could you imagine if like Sean Bean had been a henchman in that scene? That would have been awesome. Can, yeah, can you imagine he like Joseph Gordon Levitt goes through all that battles, all of a sudden the elevator door opens up and there's Sean Bean and he kind of looks up and he's like, Oh <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, yep. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea that you have him being somebody different because I said the same thing to to, to Tim beforehand. I was just like, I don't want to take uh, Saito's character out though, but I'm like, but I'm like, if I had to just interchange it, it's like that would work. But you're right; there probably was more involved, like with other companies trying to go after this too. Can't just be two, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, here's my idea, and it's it's taking more of a humorous take on it. Um, so we know that Dom, Leo's character, uh, is haunted by his his wife, and she appears in every time he goes into the dream world. She's always there. My thought on this was not to not to replace Maul as as Sean Bean, but um, what if Joseph Gordon Levitt's character? has an unhealthy obsession with Sean being the actor. Whereas every time Joseph Gordon-Levitt goes under, he brings Sean Bean in with him. So, so similar to how Maul's always infiltrating and getting in the way, uh, Sean Bean wakes up. He's like, Oh, not again. And just, just ends up getting, you know, mauled by that crowd at the, the very beginning of the movie. Every time he goes under, it just, he's always there at the bar scene at the hotel, the, you know, the, the snowy fortress is just, he's always there just because of Joseph Gordon Levin. It's his fault. Sean Bean is in every single one of these scenes and it's his fault that he dies every single time. So, so, so blame Joseph Gordon Levin. So I for, for, being so, for being such a Sean Bean fanboy. Yeah. 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 But see, I'm mixing your idea and Derek's idea together. I was like, no, no, they're, they're testing Sean Bean here. Like maybe Joseph Gordon let it let it put him into this situation where he has to get tested with the serum, so that he's always in these dreams. Yeah. You know, just just seeing what he's made of. Just, they're they're running out of ideas on how to kill him. So it's like let's just keep bringing him into the dreams. We'll find new ways. Just you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that that's where I'm at. Let's 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 blame let's let's blame uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt for uh, for bringing him in. I, that's an excellent idea. Blame him for everything. Right? It's like you were too small to play an adult character in movies. <laughs> this is kind of accurate. I mean, he was like a perfect little Robin, Robin to be in uh, Dark Knight Rises. But outside of that, I, I was watching him like, you still look like you're 15. <laughs> Why are you fi- why are you fight why are you fighting like that? Like who taught you this? Like, like he was in Cobra Kai or something. Do your parents know you're fighting? Yeah, right. <laughs> you ever seen Don John? I haven't yeah. seen that one. I haven't. Oh, okay. So like when I saw that, I had a really hard time taking it serious. Like Me too. And like, come on. He was a convincing bike delivery guy, though, in in that other, what was the name of that movie? But he played a bike delivery guy, and I was like, yeah, that's convincing that he's like some small hipster delivery guy, like 100%. Uh, absolutely. It wasn't, it wasn't Rush, so, it was... I kind of have an idea which movie this rush? is. Yeah, Premium Rush. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, you guys, I saw a movie, I just don't know the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> we did see that one. So... <laughs> Yes, we did. Uh, okay, Derek, I got to know. What was your other idea? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So I was thinking, replace Maul. Tim, I actually thought this was this where, was where you were maybe going when you, st- when you started talking about it. But replace Maul. He is, Sean Bean is now um, uh, Leo's partner. So, um... 
will make this film a little more progressive. But <laughs> so he's that's that that's who he sees in, in everything, and that's his projection. It's Sean Bean, but it's his his partner. And um, what's like? What's like the one way that Sean Bean has not died that makes sense that that like we've never seen in a movie? He's never killed himself. It's it is always somebody else usually stabbing him. Um, he's fallen out of plenty of things, so he could do a really s- glorious swan dive into the concrete like Maul did. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that that's that's the way I'd like to see him go. Do it on do it by his own choice. There you go. I and mean, also hey, get run over by a train. So I haven't seen that. It's yet. also accurate. Mm-hmm. This has not happened. Yeah, so I like it. you know, I like giving the guy the option if he wants to do it himself. Here you go. It would work. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, it just it it would take some additional creative licensing to you know change from this pretty French actress to Sean Bean. So. Or I was going to say he could have been his like early business partner at the beginning, kind of along the same mm. vein here. And let's say like Maul had actually killed him in one of their earlier Ooh. ones. So now he's coming back to like almost haunt him through all of his future endeavors. So he gets to like fight with him in every single dream from there on out in the same way. Mm. That is an interesting twist too. Mm-hmm. So Damn. I think, Basically, we can all agree that Sean Bean is a tortured soul in Inception. Yeah, yes. very yeah. much. Yeah, he's there's 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 no real joy in Sean Bean's life in, in Inception. <laughs> no, and we've <laughs> we've accomplished the impossible and killed him multiple times in a single movie. <laughs> yep, this is true. This is, it's, it's it's very rare that somebody can die multiple times in a movie, and we, we gotta we gotta pad those stats. So let's four or five times, whatever. Let's just keep it going, right? Wow, he can really go into a lot of different areas in this. Yeah, hit a lot. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones. Ooh, he could be the uncle too. I could see him being the uncle. Oh, uh, replacing uh, Michael Caine. No, no. Um, the oh, why oh, am I having mean, troubles um, with everybody's names? Killian Murphy's uncle, the one that's like talking to him in the yes, yeah. And Tom Hardy's oh, no. kind of like disguised yes. as him temporarily. Yes. yes, that one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he could do something like that. I don't know. He could. He definitely has that ruthless businessman. Ask to him. He he does. That's why. I, that's probably why in this movie it's a little easier to place him. God, that that's so much more reasonable than <laughs> Leo's wife. Uh, but only one of those would be a path toward an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, right. This is true. This is true. I swear. I think. Um, I think as you guys sit there and and ponder, who? Oh. We, we're going to do the pod for Inception and how are we going to kill Sean Bean? Who could come up with maybe the dumbest idea we can use? <laughs> Let me better message Derek here real quick. Hey, we, you know, sometimes we just need that outside the box thinking to really uh, set us down a path. We have no, <laughs> no way of returning from. It's disturbed and dark. I know. And Derek's our guy. <laughs> hey, this is this is a good thing. Yeah, you, you brought Dirty Mike into the other guys in a very terrible, terrible way. I mean, why not? <laughs> oh, so graphic, <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> just, just keep it going. Uh, if I could have figured out how to put Dirty Mike in Inception, I would have done that also. If I can just, you know, every time he somehow follows around Sean Bean in each of these movies and violates mm-hmm. him in a Prius, I'd find a way to. <laughs> work that in somehow but uh, that's so a different of a train, podcast <laughs> instead of a train yeah. you're saying it's a red prius <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you're waiting for a red prius like, oh not again 
<laughs> Prius runs over their heads and doesn't even put a dent in it. Right. It breaks the it's like a speed car. bomb. <laughs> the car's totaled. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That was just right. uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, well, I think I, I think we why. got it, guys. I, I think, think uh, so. We killed them multiple times, so we're able to pad those stats uh, many different ways. Uh, we'll let it uh, sit with the listeners to figure out which is the best and if they come up with any new ones. So um, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I so, think so. Sean Bean. There was some pretty. Dead in Inception. So there we go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Not by Red Prius. No, that just <laughs> not by would Red not Prius. Happen. Not <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, and uh, make sure to subscribe and follow us. We have uh, plenty more movies to hit and plenty more ways of killing Sean Bean. And I'm sure we'll we'll find more interesting ways of doing it. <laughs> uh, but uh, but thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Dana. Appreciate it. Thanks Ooh, for having me on. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.